it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got the Colour the Classics, The Snow Queen, a frozen fantasy colouring book and I don't know whether you can see it or not but it's got decals of snowflakes all over it and uh, it's got this glossy cover which uh, stays very smudge free but there's also these little decals that you might see shining in the light uh, of little snowflakes. So here it is up against Magical Jungle from Joanna Basford. So you can see it's roughly the same size if you want to get an idea of sizing. Lovely glossy card cover that's been coloured in. You wouldn't be able to colour that in with pencil if you wanted to, the cover. You'd need some gel pen or something to penetrate it. Now this is what I call a keepsake book. It's got the card cover on it and it was originally by a Korean artist and this is the English imprint. And sorry we've missed a page. So we've got this gorgeous image from the front cover that's done in a desaturated look or grayscale and then the copyright page and title page where you can test out your mediums if you wish. Now um, excuse my awkwardness I do have my own Snow Queen Millie here and she's making life difficult to turn over the pages and so we've got a dull white paper which is a faintly textured and it's a medium quality it feels pretty good and this has the story of the snow queen in it as well so i always sort of think that these are lovely books that you could color in and maybe give to you know someone in your life that would enjoy these lovely little fairy tales and your gorgeous coloured pictures and it make it like a real keepsake something they could treasure forever so are they gorgeous and the story is in English which is great and it's got a variety of images in it some you know fillery type like the snowflakes but they kind of go with the story so you've got to expect that and then we've got our other images now the liner is in a dull black and the line weight sort of varies but it's pretty easy to see some of these little fiddly images with all the tiny fiddly bits in it might be too much if you have a visual or motor impairment but there's plenty of other fuller sized images that you can use. And it's actually got men in it too, which we don't often see, so that's good. Now, Millie, you can't do that, honey. You really can't, sweetheart. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Um, so we've got our crowns, and these are too fiddly for me, but I could manage those ones. <laughs> But these ones just look too fiddly for me and that looks like a barcode <laughs> but uh, plenty of other bigger sized images now they do run up to the gutter of the book but you will need to sort of press it down it pushes down pretty easily and it's stitched and glued so if it's too much you can always snip a stitch if you need it to be uh, looser. So we've got our gorgeous images here, all our hair accessories and lovely flowers. This is too fiddly for me but plenty of others that I would enjoy. I like these little bouquet type things that they've got over there and all of these gorgeous roses. Really, so beautiful images. I haven't seen birds done quite like this, like nipping at each other in a colouring book, I don't think. So that's something different. Lots of goodies to eat. Too many fiddly bits there for me, but I do like looking at the picture. Lovely carriage. And again, gorgeous image here. See that the eyes aren't done and you need to put in the detail there. They've put in the circles for the highlight 
Lots of detail here on the birdies though. Isn't this one gorgeous? You could imagine colouring that in. I think this would be lovely if you had a little special person in your life that you wanted to colour this and give it to them. And then they could have it read to them by their parents and grow up with the story of the Snow Queen and all your gorgeous artwork. Or it might even be a big someone in your life. Or it might even be you. I mean, I still like reading Alice in Wonderland. It's the best. So they're having a bit of a smoochy there. So a big variety of images. Lots of different things like men and <clears throat> kissing and uh, different styles of artwork. Millie, we've got our crown here to practice on. This one's a bit weird. A bit of filler there for us. And then thumbnails of all the illustrations and the page numbers. But the pages aren't actually numbered, you'd have to manually count that out. And then at the back, we've got our little bouquet of flowers. And that's it. So gorgeous colouring book, uh, this is the English imprint, it was originally released in Korean. So that's it from me, until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.